Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Cosmina and in today's video, I decided to rank all my green eyeshadow palettes. I'm doing this just for fun. Uh, I just uh, have a lot of them in my collection and I thought why not let my people know how I feel about certain uh, eyeshadow palettes and which one I think it's best it's better than the other and things like that so if you're interested to see such video then keep on watching before we start really quickly i want to say if you're new here hi welcome thank you so much for stopping by my name is cosmina as i said before i like to repeat myself i don't know why but um, please consider to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, what I do on this channel. I play with a lot of makeup and I also review some makeup. I also open some mystery box unboxing, but mostly I do have fun with makeup and uh, I encourage you to do the same. So if you're interested to see such videos in the future, that sounds interesting to you, please don't hesitate to give this a uh, to, please don't hesitate to subscribe. Also, we do run some giveaways on this channel. Um, this uh, month giveaway, which is just starting right now, and is going to be available from today all the way until June 27. June 27. Yes, this is going to be a little bit of a longer one, but I prefer to be that way. And so you have time to enter this giveaway. What you have to do, you have to like, subscribe, comment with the secret question of the day because in every single video, there's going to be a secret question. So you have to watch it to find out what the question is. Okay, but let's move on because I see my battery is dying and I don't want to talk about this too long. So let's start with the first eyeshadow palette, the number 17. Number 17, it's Hank and Harry Poison Palette. This is actually the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes. Can you believe? Like, this is so freaking cute. I love how this turned out to be very beautiful. But the shade, the shades in here, I was expecting to be a little bit more pigmented. This one, this one right here, for example, is what I have in the center. And it's not as neon-y as I thought it's going to be there. The mattes are just a little bit dry on the drier side. So that's why this end up to be on number 17. On number 16, it's another eyeshadow palette still from Hank and Henry. But this one is Living in Color. So this one, I... um got it in a boxy charm last last year i think it was last year yeah but this one has two shimmers right here two green shimmers are beautiful but they're not enough uh, greens in this eyeshadow palette that's why i decided to put it on number 16. the shimmers are nice they're beautiful but it's nothing necessarily special about this eyeshadow palette and then going Quickly to number 15, it is this one, which was a truly disappointment. One, I was hearing people talking about Natasha Denona's uh, eyeshadow palette and the formula. I was hearing amazing, amazing things, right? So when I decided to go and buy one of her minis, it was a truly disappointment when I tried this on my eyes. It was very, very hard to blend, very, very hard to show up on the eyes. Uh, I had a very difficult time with this one and I tried it multiple times to see how it is, but it just didn't work out for me, you know, it just didn't work out for me. I mean, the, 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 the formula is not necessarily bad, but it's not living up to the hype. It's just not there, you know what I mean? So this was a disappointing one. Another one, another brand that was very hype on this platform uh it is tom ford and i bought a an eyeshadow palette from them to just see can you believe this one's actually they do sell for 88 dollars is insane i got it from a cosmetic company for 33 but 
damn. So this one is on number 14. I have mine in 21 last dance. This is how it looks like. They look super intense, these two greens, but they're not. They're actually, when you blend them on the eyes, they're... They lose their intensity and they do not perform the way I was expecting them to perform. I was expecting to be blown away by this formula, but I wasn't actually. It's kind of mediocre. Um, on number 13. On number 13, this is an eyeshadow palette that just brings joy. Every time I look at it, it just brings joy. It is a little bit more of a difficult formula to blend right but once you start to understand how this formula works it's not gonna be a problem but until you kind of figure out how this works it's gonna be a little bit more difficult i really love this greens right here they're very nice this one look at it so pigmented and so freaking beautiful super buttery too like look at that absolutely gorgeous so this one I, it just brings joy. Every time I look at it, it brings joy. Um, on number 12, we have a Revolution Pro eyeshadow palette. This is called Ultimate Eye Look Palette. And it's called So Jaded. Let me open it up for you to see. This one only has four shades. Two of them are greens, but there's some beautiful greens. Like, look at this one. Also, this one has a little bit more of a interesting formula. You know, it's not, it's not as. Easy to play with as same like the other one, but, um, I really do like it. I like these two deeper colors, right? I like the, the colors, the formula, they can work on it. You know, the formula is not up there now on number 11 on 11 we have urban decay on the run eyeshadow palette i have not played enough with this one and this one this is how it looks like um there's only two greens in there that's why it's on this pot but also the formula is nothing special right um i like this one that is called night trip like look at that one right there it's pretty too um yeah, it's nice, but nothing special about the formula, and there's only two greens in there. But if you just want some green in a small eyeshadow palette, that may be the way to go. On number 10, we have an eyeshadow palette that I absolutely love the formula. The formula is really nice, and even the shades are really nice. I was able to create some beautiful looks with this one. This is from Milani, and it's called 120 Outlaw Olive most wanted eyeshadow palette this is how it looks like my favorite it is this one right here because it has like a it's like a light green shade right look at that so so freaking pretty and i really like this one it isn't at the drugstore i think i only paid ten dollars i'm not sure if they still sell at the drugstore but i got this uh, years back and it's like still super beautiful and pretty now we're going number nine number nine this is an eyeshadow palette that i really do enjoy is this one from um glam like pizza veggie lovers such a pretty eyeshadow palette look at those greens absolutely insane those greens and there's one in particular that i think it's just awesome is this one jalapeno jalapeno right here let me see where i can do it right there jalapeno right here it's absolutely insane i love how this looks on me um let me just kind of do a better swatch there you go. But this one looks absolutely insane when you put it on the eyes. Um, and also all these, these two shades right here, the ba olives and basil, there's some really beautiful greens. And it's kind of hard to um, get the right the right green, especially in, in those colors. <sighs> but put them on the eyes, they're freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. By the way, if you're wondering what is on my lips, it is this Hourglass Confession 
lipstick. Oh, such a beautiful color, isn't it? This is freaking insane. And the component and everything, freaking bougie AF. Uh, I got this actually in a lucky bag from Beautylish, I think like two years ago. Very beautiful. All right, so next we have number eight. Number eight, it is this eyeshadow palette, the Alien Eyeshadow Palette from Jeffree Star. You cannot purchase this anymore because he discontinued this one. And I know a lot of people are hating on uh, the owner. I'm not here to talk about owners. I'm here to talk only about makeup. And I'm not here about the drama. But there's some beautiful greens in this eyeshadow palette that needs to be mentioned. Such as Alien, such as uh, Abduction, Flying Saucer, but my favorite it's UFO. This is insanely beautiful. And let me swatch the Alien and UFO for you. They're absolutely gorgeous on the eyes as well. I did play with them a lot of times, but check that out. And they're really nice and soft. There's some mattes in there that are a little bit on the drier side, but the shimmers are always really nice and soft. So I really do like that one. I know you cannot purchase it. I know he recently started uh, selling um, single shades. So if you're interested in trying it, maybe you can go for the single shades. Now, next in here, I have... Dose of Color. So Dose of Color and I Love Sarahi, they created this tiny little palette years back and I purchased it and I only have a green shade in here, just one, but one is insanely pigmented, insanely beautiful and something that I've never felt or never seen in my entire life. It's perfect, perfect. So I just barely touched it. And look at this thing, just, oh God, and it has a little bit of a, of a shift to it and it's such a gorgeous, pigmented, intense, intense color. Uh, insane how beautiful this is. And for me, just because of the intensity and the way it looks and the way it blends, just one shade in this eyeshadow palette was able to make it all the way to number seven. So that... That tells you a lot over there. Tells you a lot. All right, on number six, I have an eyeshadow palette that it is newer to my collection. This is Natasha Denona Zendo palette, which is, I mean, I like the green that I tried from this. Um, it's okay, I like it, but it, it is a little bit crumbly. The the I don't understand it why, but her formula it seems to be a little bit crumbly here and there. Um, and I, I, I like it, but I don't feel like this is necessarily the most amazing one in my collection. I definitely have some that are a little bit better. On number five, number five, this would be an eyeshadow palette that a lot of people may say that is not green. But I think it's green because khaki, it's a type of green, isn't it? So this is Huda Beauty Khaki Haze Palette. This is how this one looks like. The two eyeshadows that I really like, it's the middle one and this one. And then I like this one because it has a little bit of a shift to it too. But these two, first of all, look at that. Such beautiful, beautiful look you can create with these such beautiful look and i love it because it's a little bit more like a darker deeper look to to it right that's sometimes i'm looking for that especially in the fall this is absolutely insane and beautiful on number four we have tiny marbles with sydney grace and uh, mel thompson uh collab so this one I really love this is an insane eyeshadow palette this eyeshadow palette it's worth talking about everywhere anywhere it's definitely much better than Natasha Denona formula I don't know why people do not talk about this enough 
but this is an amazing eyeshadow palette i love love the intensity of the shimmers the beautiful mattes beautiful they blend themselves um the only thing is with this eyeshadow palette it doesn't have enough greens but on top of that this one right here scarab it's a beautiful beautiful shade but unfortunately i do have very wrinkly eyes and it does shows a little bit of my wrinkles you know when i do apply this on but it's insanely beautiful it's just like look at that can you i'm so sad that it doesn't work for my eyes because i truly love these type of eyeshadows but this one is just like melting melting and it's insanely pigmented insanely beautiful insane formula insane formula i know this one is out of stock and it's been out of stock for a while and they do um restock it every so often but make sure you go on you go on their page and you're go, you're putting your information in for the waiting list because th these one this uh, when this comes back in stock it sells out like super fast uh on number three on number three we have a revolution pro uh eyeshadow palette and this is the golden bunny look at this shade freaking awesome and beautiful and gorgeous and i just love these shades these are earthy greens and these are kind of i feel like forgotten but uh, by a lot of um these are earthy greens and i think these are often forgotten by uh brands to put them in uh, eyeshadow palettes right this is some some beautiful, beautiful greens that you can create some beautiful looks with. I also love the form line these. Let me see. Do I have any more space? Right here. There you go. Um, and there's like, I love them. I love. I played with this one and I was able to create so many beautiful looks with this one. It's insane insane and it's such a steal i think i only paid maybe seven dollars on this one when i purchased it seven dollars for those shades insane i love it i freaking love it now between number one and number two it was a toss-up because i love both of these eyeshadow palettes they are beautiful beautiful and i think both of them are as amazing but i decided to go on number two with exo beauty native palette if you never tried this brand this is actually a uh, new zealand brand from and it's from shannon exo she's actually a youtuber here she's really nice and she has a bunch of, uh, she has like three palettes now. Uh, but this is one of them. This is the native one. And it has some beautiful greens in here. Really shocked of the, the intensity of these greens. For example, this one right here has an insane shift to it. And this one right here as well. Beautiful shimmers. I'm trying to find a spot um, on my hand. But beautiful shimmers and insanely pigmented. Insanely pigmented. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I love this eyeshadow palette. The mattes are very nice to blend, but the shimmers for me make it. And I think this is insanely uh, pigmented and underrated. Underrated brand. For number one, put your guess in. What do you think it is? Who is in number one? <laughs> For number one, this is an eyeshadow palette that has greens that I have never seen before. Never seen before. It has some uh, pigmentation and uh, quality that I've never seen from this brand in particular. But this one, it is ColourPop X star wars mandalorian the child palette whatever you want to call it this is how it looks like it is 
insanely pigmented and beautiful blendable very buttery eyeshadow shades and unique colors unique colors for example this color right here i i love 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 this color this shimmer right here insane uh this uh, one right here again insane this one right here beautiful let me see maybe i can do it right here and this i think like these are greens that are wearable like daily greens you know that's how i feel about these like daily greens like not those deep greens right if you like something more a little bit more lighter or you want something that is more like a daytime green right you want to wear them during the day but you don't want to be too intense that is the way to go and the shimmers insanely beautiful and pigmented the same with um this guy right here this guy this guy is absolutely insane it's like a like a it's kind of like a highlighter but with a, a little bit of a green shift to it it's kind of hard to see but yeah this one is definitely an insane beautiful eyeshadow palette um if you see it on ColourPop website make sure you grab it especially when they have the sales if you see there make sure you grab it because this is an amazing green eyeshadow palette because if you love green as much as i do you're definitely gonna love that one now for the secret question that you have to answer to enter this giveaway it's actually not a question you get to question me so i am trying to create a q a video real soon but i need to know your question what do you want me to answer you so please put your uh, question in the description down below ask me anything anything you want to know anything that you want me to answer in a future q a ask me so there you go that's the that's the question the secret question of the day and um this is all i have for you today i hope this was something helpful or fun to watch and thank you so much for being here thank you for your support and i will see you all next time bye